beautiful people welcome and welcome back to top notes by a today i'm doing a fragrance declutter if you guys are interested to see which fragrance is from my collection i'm definitely and totally getting rid of from my collection stay tuned Sipping on your love. I never dared to guys so the first fragrance that is about to leave my collection is from B. Tyler Fyro. This fragrance house, sorry. This fragrance house is owned by a black man and the perfumer is also a black man. And I did a dedicated review about this fragrance house but never posted it. This fragrance is leaving my collection. It's called Seasons. It's just something that I'm not using. It has some floral notes in here but it's a fragrance that I don't reach for at all and since I bought it, I have not even sprayed it once on my skin except when I did that review that I never posted so this one is going to leave my collection also, the cup is not capping and I really do not see myself wearing this particular fragrance called Seasons from D. Tyler Farrow I do have room 129 which i love very very much and then bed that i love very very much from the house so yeah that one is leaving the collection the next one is called cloud nine this is also from the same fragrance house cloud cloud nine it's sweet it's so beautiful it's just that once again same problem as seasons i don't reach for it i've never tried it on i've never craved for this fragrance except when i did the review about the fragrance house that i never posted once again so cloud nine is going to leave my collection it's going to go to a good home they are not bad fragrances except that i'm not using them i have not used them since last year that i bought them so they have to go another fragrance that is definitely going to leave my collection is from mimo paris I got this one from TJ Maxx. It's called Vadu. This is herbal. This is so nice, except once again, I'm not using it. It's not a bad smelling fragrance, except I am not using it. It's sitting there. I don't crave for the fragrance. I've tried to, I've tried to use it, but then I'm reaching for something else. Anytime I try to use this particular fragrance, I reach for something else. So yeah. But who by Memo Paris is going to leave my collection? This fragrance from Latafa called Ayeti is definitely leaving my collection. I did a haul about this fragrance and I did say that I don't like this fragrance. The, it has something sharp in here that I can put my finger on, but it's so sharp, it's so squishy, and I don't want it anywhere near my skin. So, yeah, this one from Latafa called Ayeti. Is definitely leaving the collection I bought this because of the what do you call it the bottle the bottle is very nice so I'm not sure but <laughs> maybe I'll keep it just for the bottle no 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 it's gonna leave the collection leaving the collection moving on guys another fragrance that is leaving my collection I can't even tell you the fragrance name I got it from TJ Maxx um, not last year but end of 2021 I got this fragrance sprayed it a couple of times worked out with it a couple of times but it's not long lasting the longevity is not there at all like 30 minutes and then <laughs> it's gone also i was looking for a mint fragrance something that smells minty and this one really smells minty but the performance is not there i'm not somebody that gives up on fragrances because you know it doesn't have that much longevity this i'm giving up because in a way it doesn't have the longevity but also i'm not reaching for it um i'm not into it and i have not used it since 2022 and the whole of 2023 up until you know up until now so it definitely this one has to leave my collection and i'm gonna leave the name right here moving on another fragrance that is leaving my collection is from kenzo this is leoud kenzo i think i pronounce it right this is a very fresh fragrance i've used this several times very fresh for the summer once again this is not a bad smelling fragrance 
you know it's very aquatic very ozonic it's just that for some reason the whole of this summer i have not reached for this fragrance i have not craved to wear this fragrance i have other fresh aquatic fragrances that i'm reaching for so i want this to go to a good home so yes i'm definitely going to go ahead and declutter this from my collection guys the next fragrance that i'm going to declutter from my collection is from ete libre the orange and this is called like this when i first got this fragrance i knew that it when I read the fragrance notes, it was a fragrance, it was the notes that I wanted it to be, but then on my skin, it didn't perform that well. This smells, it, it has some, I want to say it has some floral notes in here. The thing about this fragrance is that it smells like a dessert that we have in that Ghana called Dakwa. If you have watched my review of Italy Break the Orange, if you haven't, go watch it or I will link it right here or right here for you guys. But this smells like Dakwa on my skin. It smells like corn chips with ginger and not in a good way so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this I actually took back the fragrance that I decluttered the last time um, that I did a declutter video I forgot the fragrance name I can't think right now but it's from this house it's performing very well right now so I took it back but this one definitely is going on my Macari if I can set it up before i tell you what is going on with my macari guys if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe if you are a returning viewer or a returning subscriber thank you for always supporting this channel do not forget to thumbs up the video and also leave me comments in the comment section so yeah i am going to figure out how to list these fragrances on macari and yeah my macari is not working it's not allowing me to put the price what i want to price the fragrance for so a fragrance like love um what do you call it um from venom of love from paulina shah i had wanted to sell it for a hundred dollars but it's it's listing it as 24 dollars and i'm like no that fragrance i only sprayed it a couple of times and i'm not going to sell it for 24 dollars so that's the problem that i'm having with my macari when i fix it i will leave a link under the and in the description bar that is fixed and these fragrances if you any of you are interested in it can you know go buy it from my macari for any of my family members watching if you like any of these fragrances come and you know smell it taste it if you like it some of them can be yours moving on this fragrance from jlo called still is going to leave my collection it has ginger in here it smells fresh but i've had this for two years and i can count on one hand how many times i have used this fragrance so for that reason jlo still is going to leave my collection this fragrance called a scent a scent i got from tj maxx for 12.99 it still has the price over here it's very citrusy and floral and fruity it's, it's a beautiful fragrance but it doesn't have that much longevity at all you spray this fragrance on and 30 minutes later you need to spray it again and for the price that you know you're paying for it is an affordable fragrance you can afford to you know drop this in your bag and keep spraying but every what every 30 minutes you're going to spray yourself no so for that reason I am going to declutter this fragrance from my collection so guys i bought this fragrance um from a, a youtuber that came out with her own fragrance house and i have a dedicated review to this fragrance the thing is that i don't reach for it oh my god i don't reach for this fragrance i don't crave this fragrance i walk past this fragrance and i reach for something else i'm reaching for fragrances like ambrosia imperial i'm reaching for fragrances like puny pop from hermetica i'm reaching for fragrances from um erin i have a fragrance like puny puny from erin so whenever i want something like floral and rosy i am actually reaching for fragrances from fragrances like um puny from erin so for that reason since i reviewed this fragrance since i reviewed this fragrance i don't think i have used this fragrance 
since I review it. For so for that reason alone, I am going to declutter this fragrance from my collection. Once again, it's not a bad smelling fragrance, except that I have other fragrances in my collection that I'm reaching for. So this is going to go. Moving on. I do have this Stella Makati fragrance called Pop. And the way I wanted this fragrance and when it came in, it's all, there is something about how this fragrance sprays that deters me from ever spraying this fragrance. So yeah, I have not reached for this fragrance in a long time. I can rem I really cannot remember the last time I reached for this fragrance. So most of these fragrances are not bad smelling fragrances, except that I am not reaching for them and it's been like a year, it's been like a year and a half and I haven't even thought about these fragrances. So they need to go to a good home. I got this from fragrance.net. This is pop. It is a very fruity, floral, you know, really nice fragrance. So if any of you want it, let me know in the description bar below. This one is from Oscar de la Renta. And I do have a video about fragrances that I have a toxic relationship with and I do have a toxic relationship with this fragrance even though I do have a huge dent in this fragrance I have a toxic relationship with this fragrance the jasmine in here is so endolic the jasmine in here is endolic and synthetic at the same time I cannot stand the jasmine in this fragrance and I do like jasmine but in this fragrance I can't stand it so for that alone and for a year and a half guys i have not reached once for this particular fragrance so if any of you like oscar de la renta then you guys if you want this it's yours let's do another tyler faro the tyler faro fragrance that is leaving my collection this is called sicily this fragrance was named after the famous famous actress um, Cecily Tyson so this was actually done in honor of her and this smells too grown up for me uh, yeah this smells old lady like for me that this one has to leave my collection I move on so the next fragrance that I'm going to declutter from my collection is from anthropology and this is chai spice and this one I got from TJ Maxx this one i got i got this one because i wanted to do i wanted to layer it with vanilla 28 from Kayali. and since i brought it home i really do not think that i have had the need for it i think it's a very nice smelling fragrance that if you layer it you can do a coffee routine you know with your bath soap or your shampoo and then your cream and then your fragrance oil and then spray this on it is very good i think also you can use it as a room spray you can spray your room or your sheets with this one but i haven't had the need to use it i got it for like 14.99 from tj Maxx. so for the size and for what it is it's actually expensive for me but i have not had the need to use this and it's sitting there and it's sitting there so i am not sure if oh it's so nice should i should I hold on to it or should I declutter it? I don't know. For now, I will say I'm decluttering it. If I don't, I will let you know in my next declutter video if this one stayed or if I gave it away. Then I have this fragrance called Field of Flowers from Philosophy. And the name says it all. It's like a bushel of, or a bush of, you know, different, different, different florals. It's so nice. It's just that I don't reach for it. It's so beautiful. It's so floral. It's so feminine, but I don't reach for it. And also the longevity is not there at all. So for that reason, the fact that I don't reach for it, the fact that the longevity is not there, we are going to declutter this from the collection. Then last, but definitely, definitely not the least, is from Jill Sanders or Jill, Jill Sander and this is called Sun and this one I have used it so many times um, when I bought it I used to wear this for workouts and also for bed oh my god but I haven't sprayed it in a while it has something synthetic in here 
it comes off a little bit a little bit like robbery when you spray it it has this robbery note in here but it's fresh it's ozonic it's so beautiful just that do i really want to get rid of this one because i have worked out with this one for a while and i have used it you cannot see it but i have actually used this fragrance but i think starting from this year i have not had the need to reach for this fragrance and it might be because i have not been working out like i used to and so i have not had the need to wear this fragrance but yeah i can afford to let it go oh my god should i let it go oh i'm actually loving and you know smelling it even that robbery note in here it has jasmine in here oh god do i do i okay for now i will say i'm going to declutter this for my collection jill sanderson i'm going to declutter it i will let you know in my next declutter if um and sun stayed and then the rest definitely i know i'm gonna let it go so i'll let you guys know if they both stayed that being said guys thank you so much for supporting the channel thank you so much for always coming back to support me and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe if you have not thumbs up the video also thumbs up the video it helps the video place on um youtube so other people will be introduced to my channel until i see you on another video stay blessed smell fabulous and bye for now